But we certainly don't need a retro filter to make this footage look old, because it is. It's 2010, back when I used to get hired by the California Department of Fish and Game to tag spring run Chinook salmon on the Feather and Yuba Rivers for a tracking and migration We got water. So here we just landed a beautiful cromer, and I'm going to put it in the little holding tank, and then the biologists, Milwaukee and Brian, are going to get to work on it here. Now the first thing we're going to do here is get some measurements on the fish. Milwaukee's going to get into the tank here with a tape and start uh, taking some measurements. And then we're going to get some tissue samples from this guy. And uh, it's going to include a scale sample and a little cut of a piece of its tail, which is happening right there. This guy is still really frisky, as you can see. I'm adding some water to the tank just to keep him healthy. And this whole process takes a couple minutes. And uh, it's a little bit invasive, but the fish seem to be fine with it. And then uh, now we're going to get some Floyd so tags. The Floyd number? And there are yeah. little tags that go on either side of the dorsal fin. They look like a piece of spaghetti, and they have a number on them. So when the fish is found dead or in the hatchery, it can be recorded. can zoom in video mode? You can, but you have to do it before the... Uh, yeah, that's some super old school time. technology yeah. there. So we got two Floyd tags, one on each side of the dorsal fin. And inject it. Kind of like a little mini harpoon. So we've got one on each side. You got them. In case one falls out. Oh, that guy wants right. to go bad. I did. And then we're going to tag it. With an acoustic tag that allows him to be tracked. This is the esophageal tag. Put in with a large, basically, pill popper. All right, got uh, everything? Yeah. What are those called again, those tags? Next, a quick picture of the fish for the data bank, and off he goes. Damn, those things are pretty. Jeez. This is our guide, JD. Off like a shot. Off she goes. So here's a close-up view of one of those acoustic tags, the one that we plunge down into the fish's gullet region. Now, on a fish that's not going to die, say, like a trout in the near future, they'll affix the tag to the outside of the body, which requires some surgery. In this case, we just plunge it down their throat to the back of their digestive tract, which has atrophied and is not being of any use, really, at this point. And the fish will die with that in there. So what is the point of all this, you may ask, and that's a good question. Well, from a biological standpoint, it is to examine the spatial and temporal distribution of spring run Chinook in the Feather River. Huh? <laughs> Layman's terms, they are doing a tracking study on the migration of these fish and trying to see where they're getting held up, if they're getting held up by barriers, and in this case, there's a dam on that river with poor fish ladder passage. And so it's generally just tracking their migration and making sure there's nothing keeping the fish from reaching the spawning beds. Now, up and down the river, there are several hydrophones, which will get pinged when that fish swims by and give the biologist a really good map of what this fish is doing. The data from these things is pretty darn interesting, and I'll have to do another video on that in the future, but... Uh, in the meantime, what a cool job that was.